This is a tutorial to show how Google Calendar events work. All right, so um, first we're gonna start with the permissions. So you can see over here, I'm on Google Calendar and I'm on my um, personal calendar. I'm gonna go to settings and sharing. Um, and you can see I have a variety of settings, but the one that I'm gonna focus on right now is who I can share with and what permissions that they have. So, here we have the owner. So I created the calendar, and then I have um, two people who can see all event details, and then one person who can make changes and manage sharing. All right, so if I wanted to change those permissions, I could just go to the drop down and I can change it um, just by selecting. Now, the make changes and manage sharing is um, kind of dual editing. So you're, you and whoever you share with these settings We'll be able to edit events and we'll be able to create events, um, essentially doing the same thing. Um, only the owner is able to delete the full calendar. Nobody else can delete it. Um, the other things that I have here is um, make changes to events, uh, which allows that person to, you know, if you wanted to add event details or if you wanted to um, click on event and change the title, that permission is make changes to events. The see all event details allows the, the viewer to see everything in, um, including the title, the time length, and any sort of event details or attachments that you have to the event. And then the see only free busy um, hides the details and either says free or busy, so you know that that space is, um, is taken, but you don't know why. All right, and then you can easily add people. Um, and um, share it with them. They'll get an email um, asking them to add the calendar. So those, that is how to share with specific people. And then um, if you go to the calendar itself and you click on a date and time, you can also have those um, same permissions on individual events. All right, so I'm gonna go to my more options here. Um, and uh, this is where you can do um, either the busy or the free option. Um, the default visibility is public, so anyone can see what event details and the title of the event and who created the event. Um, but if you wanted it to be more private, you can select private. 